Today, I thought I would share with you a recipe. It's called Connie's Macaroni Salad. And this salad, I first um, had at my aunt's. Uh, I really liked it because it's a macaroni salad, but she includes peas in her salad. So I created this recipe as my way to honor her. Now, it is Memorial Day today, and I've made a pot of chili beans. So whenever I make chili beans, I'll either make Patsy's potato salad or I'll make Connie's macaroni salad to go with that. So we're going to have two great side dishes today. And I've got most of my prep work done. I've got my eggs are uh, hard boiled. And on my blog, therighteouskitchen.blogspot.com, uh, I show you how to make perfectly boiled eggs. They have the nice bright yolks. I tell you that recipe hasn't failed me yet. So I appreciate those little details. I like that. So, so I've got everything is prepped. So we're gonna get this moving right along. This this scraper is pretty handy when you're moving large quantities. Um, into a bowl. So I've got my uh, hard boiled eggs are diced and then I've reserved one uh, that's just sliced for the topping. So so we have that. And then our one egg slice, we're gonna move that over to the side and get rid of this chopping block. Okay, so we're working with warm macaroni. Let me see if that's set good. We always wanna use warm macaroni. Uh, that's gonna help your ingredients adhere nicely. So this has been cooked. We've got the Ditalini uh, pasta salad or the Ditalini pasta. So that's what you're going to uh, want to buy for this recipe. And this is still warm. You can see the steam coming off of here. Ooh. So we drain that very well. Take time to drain it. You don't want a soggy pasta. All right, so I'm gonna break that up real quick. Break this up a little bit before we continue. If your uh, pasta has cooled on you, you can always zap it in the microwave again. But you want nice warm pasta. That goes with uh, any pasta salad. So let's just get these eggs incorporated. Today I'm uh, making one and a half times of the original recipe. Um, as our family is growing, <laughs> the demand for uh, larger quantities is growing. So, all right. Here's our mayonnaise. I use Hellman's Best Foods Mayo. I do not use Miracle Whip. So we're going to get that in. And we have pickle relish. You could use sweet or dill pickle. That's your preference. We have, uh, this is frozen peas. Now, Aunt, Aunt Connie did mention that she used canned peas. That's fine. Um, it tasted great, so much that I wanted to create a recipe for it. So canned peas, if that's what you have. Use it, 
but I do, I've been using the frozen peas forever now and I really like it. So I'm just going to keep, keep doing that. And then we have a uh, salt and pepper. So it's a pretty basic macaroni salad. Just got your macaroni, your peas, mayonnaise, relish, salt and pepper. And hard boiled eggs if I didn't say that. So that's it. We're just going to stir this really well. Get everything combined. Just kind of stir it all towards the center. There we go. Just folding everything together. Couldn't be easier. I do like this recipe when I don't feel like uh, taking the time to make potato salad. This is, goes a lot faster for me. And it still tastes great. Everybody loves it. There, we're about there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to a serving dish. I hope I don't make a big mess out of it. Let me wipe up some of this. I'll move in closer. Okay. How easy is that? Now, this uh, salad is going to tighten up on you. It's a little bit loose right now. Not really loose, but a little bit. That's because of the frozen peas. But just stick it in the fridge and it's going to get even tighter. It's not going to be... Uh, super creamy because I didn't put a lot of mayonnaise in here. Let's see if we could just do this now. There we go. There we are. So just kind of flatten it around. Wipe up this mess again. Okay. So once we've got that, we could go in and assemble our our decorator top. I think I might move this one over. There we go. The rest I'm not going to really mess with. So I kind of just showing the whites. So that's good. Actually, I have another one that I sliced too. Let me put these in there so you get a bigger slice. We'll put the little one in the middle. There we go. That looks good. So to finish this, all we're going to do is sprinkle some paprika and I always keep this in my spice cupboard in a little salt shaker and I like it because you can control how much paprika you're sprinkling. So I don't want to overdo it. Just a nice sprinkle evenly. And that's it. We've got this done. So let me give you a close up and then there's one final tip.
that you're going to appreciate. All right, so let's see there. So there, there it is. There's the salad all decorated and ready to serve. So, you know, sometimes when you get your salad out of the container, you'll find that it's gotten uh, watery. So this is a tip that I learned years ago from my grandmother. And what she would do is take clean paper towel and just lay it on top of your salad. And that's going to absorb any moisture um, that may collect on there and ruin your salad. So we just do that. And then put the lid on it. If you don't have a lid, you could use saran wrap and just make sure that your saran wrap is touching uh, the top here. There's no air gaps. So we've got this ready and we're gonna chill it. We're gonna have a very nice pasta salad uh, to go with those baked beans that we made yesterday. So hope you're still having a great weekend and enjoying those get togethers. Thanks for watching.